home of the three-piece combos, Pugilism Company. Read BBS, BBS, Black Burp Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies, Televisión, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. So we got Devin Haney, Jorge Linares, May 29th on the zone. The biggest, most important fight of the career of Devin Haney, per Devin Haney himself. What we're going to do, we're going to get into what needs to happen, what could happen, and what will happen in this particular matchup. But before we do that, need you to subscribe, need you to like this video, comment, you comment, I comment. You comment, I comment. That's kind of how this works. Sharing is caring. And as always, love tap and or giving you a choice and or bitch slap that like button for your boy. Devin Haney needs a KO, period. 25 and 0, 15 KOs. You know, on the surface, that's not bad. But the thing is, most fighters, they... You know, they start as low as they can because they know there's going to be that physical maturation process. So with that, you're like fighting smaller guys primarily for your first 5, 10, 15, 20, who knows how many fights. My point is you're registering a lot of KOs and 25 fights later, you only got 15 KOs. We know we know the word on Devin Haney skills. Skills are out there Ima unimaginable. Like they're they're dope skills, but the power, man, the power. And then you didn't you didn't stop or drop Yuri Orcas Gamboa, who everybody stops and or drops. He's like the DMX song. Stop, drop, shut him down, open up, shot. Like everybody stops and drops Gamboa. Oh no. But Devin ain't he did. Devin Haney did And okay, we learned you hurt your hand before the fight. I'm not saying that didn't happen. Uh, you're saying you were 55 to 60% for Gamboa. Okay, cool. Cool. Here's the thing. Jorge Linares, 47 wins, 5 losses, 29 KOs. All five, all five losses by stoppage. So with that, Devin Haney needs... Needs a KO, period. What could happen? Scratch everything I just said. Uh, Devin Haney could get exposed. He could. Because despite the five KO losses, do you actually know? Do you know who? Who? Jorge Linares is? Do you know? Like, for real. Or is he just a name? Like, you heard of him when he fought Loma. But you don't know. You don't really know who he is. I'm talking about a three-weight world champion. One of the more well-rounded, not the most well-rounded, but one of the more well-rounded fighters of the last 15, 20 years. That's real talk. Now, we can get right into his flaws. Punch resistance? <laughs> That's an obvious issue. But again, the fact he has shaky punch resistance, that's pressure on Devin Haney. Like Linares... He's uh he's that he's that car. You go to the car lot, use car lot, and I mean, Lenars he got hell damage. He got some miles on him. Can you stop him, Devin Haney? Can you stop him? And the thing is, ask Lomachenko. Ask Lomachenko about Jorge Lenardis. He got dropped by Jorge Lenardis. Ask Lou Campbell. Lou Campbell was dropped and beat by Lenardis before he ended up dropping Ryan Garcia himself. I'm just saying. Garcia won the fight, but he got dropped hard. Horned by Lou Campbell. And I mean, Lenars had no problems with him in, in that regard. Not, not similar to that. Lenars is the most experienced, most skilled, he's the fastest, and the hardest punching opponent of Devin Haney's career. So, you know, we're talking about what can happen. This is a losable fight. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. And uh, Lenars, he's 4-0 versus Eddie Hearn fighters. Let's let's just keep that out there. 4-0 versus Eddie Hearn fighters. Undefeated. Sure, Devin Haney's faster. Uh, but being just fast enough with good timing, 
You got good timing. You can negate su uh, superior speed. You can, bro. You can. And before we conclude, uh, as we conclude, uh, what will happen? Here's what I think will happen. Jorge Linares will present opportunities for Devin Haney to land. I mean, Linares can box, but he ain't opposed to leading either. Like, if, you, if you're trying to be cute with him and maintain distance and jab, he's going to come after you. He has that versatility to him. He has a high ring IQ. He, he really does. So, uh, with that said, I'm taking Devin Haney, but by a controversial decision. I see a distance fight. Uh, a percentage of fans will feel like maybe Lenardis won or he was robbed, but Devin wins. I don't. I think it'll be pretty clear that Dev won the fight, but yet he'll he may get dropped or you know he'll just face way more difficulty than he has previously to give some the impression that it was a robbery or that he lost. And before we get out of here, all this WBC shit, uh, Teofimo Lopez, I said it in one of my last videos, Teofimo effing Lopez is the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. Devin Haney has an offshoot WBC title. Let's not get it twisted, okay? Lomachenko beat Luke Campbell for the vacant WBC title. And then he lost to Teofimo Lopez. Who did Devin Haney beat for that title? Who did uh, Lomachenko lose the title to? So you're telling me you're, uh, you know, you're latching, you're hatching your wagon to the WBC, these sanctioning bodies that's just putting these all these belts out there, you know, just just to to convolute the picture. Anyway, I'll digress. Yeah, I said what I said. Devin Haney by controversial decision. From the home of the three-piece combos, Pugilism Company. Read BBS. BBS. Black Burke Sugar. Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Television. Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.